BYD have recently launched their new battery to rival the Tesla Powerwall. Your home battery, it's modular. You can pretty much make it whatever size you want. It's a little bit cheaper than the Tesla Powerwall. So the question is, should you not buy a Tesla Powerwall for your next home battery? Should you get a BYD one instead, or should you get something else from another brand, such as potentially Anchor? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Now, I should point out that I'm personally going to get a home battery here pretty soon, and I'm not going to get Tesla, and I'm not going to get BYD's home battery. And I'll explain sort of why that is in a future video. But BYD have just launched their new home battery system, which is meant to rival take on Tesla's Powerwall. So this is going to be an interesting challenge here for Tesla. Now, there are some pros and cons. To be honest, there are some positives with this new battery in comparison to Tesla, but there's also some downsides. BYD have launched this new home battery in Europe, and I believe it's going to be available in other countries around the world within the next six months. It's called the BYD Battery Box, and there's two different module types you can, the smallest battery you can install is actually 6.45, so six and a half kilowatt hours. And there is an app option to add on either a 4.3 kilowatt hour battery or to double the size and add an additional 6.45 kilowatts. So you start with 6.45 and then you can either add on four and a, another four and a half kilowatt hour battery or another six and a half kilowatt hour battery. And you can go as big as 72 kilowatt hours. The size of the modules is probably not that relevant to you, but I'll tell you what they are. 345 by 660 by 140, and it weighs 42 kilograms. That's the smaller module. The bigger module is 61.1 kilograms. Now, these are just going to sit at your home or your business or your office, so it does, the weight is not a big factor in my opinion. Now, what, a, what is a big factor is the price. It looks like BOD are going to launch these at a, a fair bit cheaper price than a Tesla Powerwall. But there is a reason for that, and I'll explain that in a second. Now, BYD says that up to four modules can be combined into a single tower to deliver a maximum capacity of 23.6 kilowatt hours, and up to three towers can be connected in parallel for a total capacity of 71 kilowatt hours. Now, one of the positives that BYD say about this is they say it will have over-the-air updates, providing potentially future software improvements I'm not really sure on the details of that though. Now, BYD also launched something at the same time, and this kind of tells you the downside to this battery in comparison to a Tesla Powerwall. That is, they have two new inverters, a single phase hybrid inverter, the Powerbox SH3, and a three phase hybrid inverter, the Powerbox TH5. So if you've got single phase power at home, like probably 95% of Australians do, obviously you're going to get the single phase inverter. If you've got three phase power, then you can get the three phase inverter. Now, there is more complexity involved than that, but that's the general, the general idea. The single phase hybrid inverters offer high battery charging and discharging current of 35 amps and feature full backup function with 200% peak output power and seamless on-grid, off-grid switching, as well as a maximum efficiency of 97.7%. They're saying these batteries are really efficient. A bit, based, Tesla's saying their batteries are 90% efficient. Now, I don't believe that it's likely that uh, Tesla's Powerwall is going to be 8% less efficient. It doesn't seem probable, in my opinion, but who knows? The three-phase inverter BYD says is slightly more efficient at 98.2% versus 97.7% for the single phase, and that actually is remarkable efficiency. So I'm not sure if, you know, if that's really accurate, but anyhow, either way, this does show you one thing. BYD's batteries don't come with an inverter built into them like the Tesla Powerwall does have. Now, for some situations, having an inverter built in is going to be actually a negative. You're not going to want that. You're going to want to buy your own inverter and you want to be able to pair that with whatever things you want with your own charger, et cetera, et cetera. But a lot of people don't want to do that. They'd prefer to have the inverter built in like Tesla's has. So you have to keep that in mind. BYD's batteries are cheaper, but you do have to purchase a separate inverter. The three-phase inverter also offers an IP66 waterproof rating, making it very reliable, says BYD. It's capable of providing full backup functionality with 150% peak output power and a backup switch time of less than 10 milliseconds. So what that means is if you say had the, the six and a half kilowatt and the four and a half put together, so you, say you had around 11 kilowatts in, of total power, you could probably put out around 16 kilowatt of electricity. 
So it gives you an idea of the amount of power you can put out. Now, would you want to put out 16 kilowatt if your power went out and you're just using your batteries? No, that'd be really stupid. But you could do that if you wanted to. The trend for complete solutions has been driven by customer demand, says Yang Feng, a residential energy storage director of BOD Energy Storage. Now, when will they be available? Well, they're apparently going to be available in the European market in June, and I'm going to guess a few months after that in other countries around the world, including places very likely like Australia. Now, they haven't been officially confirmed for Australia, but what I'm hearing is it's very likely that they will arrive. So to compare the sizes to Tesla, the Tesla Powerwall is a 13.5 kilowatt hour size. And of course, you can, you can add an extra 13.5 kilowatt hour unit to your system, so then you'd have 27, but you can't put a half battery in. So you are kind of stuck a little bit. Let's say you wanted a 20 kilowatt hour battery, you're thinking to yourself, I don't need 27, or if you wanted 18, you yeah, don't need 27. Well, you don't have a choice with Tesla. You just have to go 13.5 or 27 by doubling it, or bigger again. If you want to go bigger, you can go up to 40.5. But with BYD, because it's so modular, you can go for the four and a half or the six and a half and then add mix and match in every, pretty much whatever way you want to mix and match. That's a definite advantage. Some people might say to themselves, I only need a 16, I need an 18, I need a 20. And then in that situation, the Tesla might be overkill. You might be having to get a 27 when you don't need to. That said, in my opinion, the best time to buy a battery for most people is now. The sooner you can start saving yourself money, get off the grid, you know, basically end your reliance on the grid is awesome. So if you've got an electric car, I think it's a great choice. Now, I personally uh, am not using a Tesla Powerwall or a BYD uh, battery box. I don't have any plans to use either of them. I am going to use a different brand. I'll get to that in a separate video and what my reasons for that are because there's actually some other really good options on the market. And if you're interested in home battery storage, I'm going to compare some of those and explain to you my reasoning for why I'm getting what I'm getting instead of BYD or Tesla. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What have you got? What have you installed? What are your plans? Let us know down below. Tesla's app has been ranked actually number one several times when industry analysts have said they've looked at all the different apps that different car brands have and they've weighed up the pros and cons and they've gone, you know what, this is the best app. It seems as though Tesla has the best app across the board. Doesn't matter what car manufacturer you're comparing them to, whether that's Mercedes, Benz, BMW, Neo, etc. And Tesla app updates are fairly frequent. There are some big changes, but keep in mind, Tesla's app is not just for Tesla cars. It's also for Tesla energy. So that may be if you have Tesla solar or Tesla power walls too. Tesla's released a new mobile app update. There's some pretty cool changes. I'm gonna list what they are so you know basically what you're dealing with. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Tesla's new mobile app update. It includes offline commands, power meter. There's a few other interesting things. 